Hey, this is, I'm old Brooke Hoover. Hi. Uh, this is for brand new beginning guitar players with very little experience. And this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna move kind of slow and deliberate because I don't want to leave you behind. Okay, so you've got your guitar. Assuming you're uh, right-handed, you're gonna set the guitar on your right leg like that. Whether it's electric or acoustic, get used to that. Not on the left leg, okay? <laughs> We're gonna have fun. Have no fear. Okay, guitar on your right leg, right arm comes over the top. Not like that. Not like that. It's just basically really simple. So your right arm should kind of hang loose. No tension. Just let it flop right there. You're set. And that will keep it from sliding down your leg. Okay, so you're all good there. You might need a tuner. This is a really good one called a Unitune by TC Electronics. So tuning is kind of a concern. Uh, let's just try it. I'll show you how it goes. If you have a tuner like this, you can also get an app for your phone that works about the same way. I'm going to clamp it on here. I don't know if you can see it real good, but I'll try to get it set up here. And I'm going to hit, there's six strings. I'm going to hit the fat one. That's called low E. I'm going to hit it with my thumb or a pick like this. And it's going to read on that tuner. It says E, it's probably reversed in the camera, but it should be all green on this tuner. They're all, they all work the same way. You just gotta be patient. So that string goes to this peg. You just gotta be patient. Don't, don't get crazy, just turn a little bit. Relax, everything's fine. All right, I'm gonna go to the next string. This is A, I'm gonna hit it, check the tuner. It goes to this peg here. So it had some red LED lights, now it's all green. Next one's called D, the next string over D, here we go. We were taught to tune just by sound, by listening. Here's a G. That looks good. Here's a B. You might ask, which way do I turn it? Uh, it's kind of hard to describe, but just turn it till it sounds right, until it looks right on the t on the the little screen. There's E. So you, if you're going the wrong way, you know you'll hear it but so these strings should sound like this check your guitar see if it, your e sounds like this here's your a the d the g the b and the high e all right so if you're using a pick which I recommend. You're gonna take your right hand, curl that index finger, set it like this, and add your thumb. Kinda looks like that. These fingers don't touch these three. Do not touch the pick. It should be kinda roundish there. Okay, so. That's a low E right there. Most Metallica songs are in the key of E, and Jimi Hendrix too, and Holland Wolf, and Hank Williams. So no matter what kind of music you like, you're probably gonna need that E note. It's very important. So you could just sit on the couch and play that for your first day. Just Your wife will say, what are you playing? Just like, I'm playing some Metallica. Dun, 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 My right hand's sitting on the bridge, like right about this corner here. See that? That's really important. This 
weird little corner of your hand that you never think about, here is sitting right there. Now, you're going to resist that, and you're going to go, well, yeah, but my grandpa said you always play right over the sound hole. Well, he was wrong. Well, you can, but I'm going to recommend this. Okay. That takes all the weight off of your right arm. Otherwise, you got your right arm floating. You're like, oh, my shoulder's getting real tired. I'm like, dude, listen to Brookie and just put your hand there, and you're not going to be so stressed out. You'll be able to do this for a long time. That's E. So most songs based on guitar are in the key of E. So learn that E string big time. And you can fine tune it as you're listening to me. Make sure it sounds like my string. Okay, next string over is A. Get used to the A string. Next one is D. So most songs are in the key of E, A, or D. And you can tune your guitar to me. If you want to adjust your string listening to mine, you can. Uh oh, my wife's coming home. She's going to probably yell at me. Here's the G. <laughs> G. You can adjust your tuning peg as you listen to me play the G note. You don't always have to have your hand there, but it's a good place to start. Next string is, so most rock and roll songs are in the key of E, A, D, or G. B is a little bit less common. And here's another E. Let's have a little fun. Compare your low E to the high E. I'm gonna close my door. I'm doing video, Lila. All right. Got those E's down. Eventually, your hand can float a little bit, but it's good to come back to that. All right, let's learn some notes. On the first string, that's the high E, that's called an open string. Now, to make it higher, you gotta press down at first fret. Frets are these metal, oops, things here. You got like 20 or 21, 22 of them or so. You don't have to count them right now. Do that later. <laughs> so. Press down first fret, first string, with your index finger right on the tip. Tip, 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 right there. Close to the fret, not, this thing is the nut. Don't press towards that, press towards the fret. Not over it, but right up to it. Press down, you got an F. And that's gonna kinda dig into your fingertip. It's gonna hurt, cause you don't have calluses there yet. You'll get them. E and F. Those are two notes. E, F, E, F, E, F. Remember that. Don't forget it. E, F, E, F, E, F, E, F. So my thumb is kind of hanging here. It's kind of like a hook. And uh, just because of... Otherwise, I have to use my whole shoulder and arm to hold it here. And it's like, ah, this is easier for me right now. Get used to that E and the F. It's like Jaws. The shark is coming. All right, memorize that. Now let's do another note. Middle finger, second fret, same string is F sharp. Let's go open E to F sharp. Just mess around with it. All right, let's do open first fret, second fret. That's an E, F, F sharp. Now reverse it. 
F sharp, F, and E. I'm getting fancy with my picking hand. I'm doing down, up, down, up, down, up. You don't have to play that fast right now, but that's where you're gonna end up. E, F, F sharp, this is G. Ring finger, third fret is G. It's, here's my saying, it's simple, but it's not that easy. G, third fret, close to the fret, F sharp and F and E. So you got four notes. So you see how your fingers are gonna flow along like that. You're gonna get used to that. Circus music. Cool, huh? So very simple, very simple, but not so easy. Here's a weird one, pinky, G sharp, that's pinky. Fourth fret, first string, G sharp. You got this all memorized? E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp. See how the four fingers line up? If you're just starting out, your hand is gonna resist that and you're gonna get all tangled up. But you know, I think I've been playing about 43 years, so I'm getting it figured out. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to pick that fast and smooth on your first day, but that's where you're gonna end up. All right, so we're just getting you moving, getting your hand woken up. So that may be, you might need to recover from that. <laughs> you know, it's not that super simple, but uh, these are things you're gonna need to be able to do is get four fingers working on this is called a position, these first four frets. And then, you know, you could work up here and do four, and 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 four. So you can move up and cover all the, and eventually you'll cover the whole neck. Remember, the neck is not huge. This is not like an aircraft carrier landing zone or a football field. It's just a little piece of wood. You could move around and you can figure this out pretty quickly. It's not like solving the mystery of the ancient pyramids here. It's pretty simple. Um, let's do some more notes. Now that's using four fingers, which was kind of strict. Now let's just use one finger and move up the neck. I'm gonna do that E, the F. Let's skip F sharp and go up to G, third fret. See that dot? That tells you it's a third fret. Pay attention to the dots. Okay, next dot is fifth fret. That's A. So you got E, F, G, A. Seventh fret is B. There's your friendly dot again. So dots are three, five, seven, nine, twelve is double dot. All right, I'm all over the place. Let's do it again. E, memorize this. F, G, a, B, and here's where we're not gonna follow the dots for a second. C, there's no dot. B to C is a one fret jump. That's called a half step. B, C, B, C. Eighth fret is C. Let's start over. E, F, G, A, B, C. And you wanna train your ear to hear this. Joy to the world, the E, F, G, A, B, C. In these notes is every song you've ever heard. So learning these notes is worth spending the time. C, and now two more frets. That's called a whole step to D. No dot there. This is 10th fret, D. And two more frets is E. And that's our octave. See those two dots? That's your 12th fret. That's another E. 
Let's do 12 and 0. Open. 12, 0, 12, 0. Check it out. That's an octave, E to E. That's fun, isn't it? It sounds cool. You, It's musical. It sounds good. Actually, let's just go for the gold. Second string is the same thing. An octave trick. B. I'm on the second string B octaves. Let's, let's hit a few of those. Third string, same thing, G. Fourth string, same thing, D. Octaves, D. Go at your own speed. Fifth string, A. And sixth string, same thing, E. A lot of kids like to reach over the top I say, go for it. <laughs> or they'll do this. I'm like, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Do it any way you want. But if you're playing on stage, you'll probably go something like this. It's going to be easier just to reach over here. But I understand the stretch feels really weird. But remember, this little piece of wood is very small. You can definitely move your hand over there with a little practice. All right. So hopefully you're still with me. We made it to the sixth string, that 12th fret. Let's take it two frets towards the headstock of the guitar. You got a D, just like the first string, D. And two frets towards the headstock of the guitar is C, just like first string, C. 8th fret, C. Remember 7th fret was B over here? Well, that's also a B. See the pattern? It's really easy. B. And then you got your A. The G. And what's that? Can you tell me? Tell me. That's F, open E. All right, that's pretty cool. This E and F, when we, I used to have a band called Meerkats and we'd play gigs all the time and Metallica was getting really famous, but we just had really no interest in covering Metallica songs. And there'd always be some drunk guys come up and stand in front of us like, dude, play some Metallica. And we're like, you know, I mean, it was constantly and like, like, okay, man. And the guy would start thrashing around like, whoa. <laughs> you know, that guy's like, yeah, that's a good one. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, <laughs> you know, that's very easy. E and F it does sound kind of heavy and cool. Um, so we kind of, we started on low E, we went across the strings, went up the first string, went across this way, and went back down. It's kind of like a racetrack. Can you get, a, can you get around that racetrack? Uh, see, all, and now there's all these notes in the middle. Well, we'll fill those in later. But if you can get the, the six strings down, up first string, over at the octave, and down, You've got a really, 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 really good start. All right. And memorize it. Don't be on the 20-year plan of like, well, you know, I'm going to learn those notes when, when I get to be about 80. Oh, wow. Do it now. Do it today. You can learn that right now and have it down and be ready to add more information. Don't be so distracted that you can't zero in on that and get it down. It's easy. All right, now let's do a song. You, you stuck with me a long time.
All right, that's open, open, second fret, open, fifth fret, fourth fret. Let's do that again. Zero, zero, two, zero, five, four. Got it? Zero, zero, two, zero, five, four. And the next part is similar, zero, zero, two, zero, seven, five. Zero, zeros, open, two, second fret, open, seventh fret, fifth fret, which is a B, A. One more time. Now it's zero zero twelve nine five five four two. That's zero zero twelve nine five five four two. Zero zero twelve nine five five four two. And the last phrase is ten ten nine five seven five. Ten ten nine. Five, seven, five. I'll do the last phrase one more time. Ten, ten, nine, five, seven, five. Cool. So, I think you can memorize all this. People, it seems like our attention span has gotten shorter and shorter. They say the average person's attention span is eight seconds now. <laughs> All right. So we're going to have to reverse that trend. We can't de-evolve into slugs this rapidly. We're going to have to fight the trend. And <laughs> uh, we can do this. All right. So concentrate. Spend some time with your instrument. Camp out. And uh, hold your guitar, love your guitar, it's your friend, he'll never let you down. And uh, thanks for watching. If you wanted to subscribe, that'd be totally cool. Uh, if you want to send me an email, it's hooverguitar at yahoo. I'll send you some tablature, and we'll have to figure out what tablature is next. All right, that's it. Take care.